Me? Yeah. Whatever. I'm going to win this. I'm going to win this week. So it's really oh. good. I, I, oh. I can't believe this. I was chatting to my mate the other day uh, and he told me a story from when we were about 20, but I wasn't there. Uh, so I didn't even, I, I never knew this happened. And he told me and I could not believe what a story it was. So my nomination this week is my mate's story. And now I'm going to tell the story. So when we were about 20, uh, he'd been to a party in Newcastle. He was going back to uni in Leeds the next day. So he's driving from Newcastle to Leeds. It's about what, a two, three hour car journey? Not like Mm -hmm. massively long. He's not driving. He's in the car with his mate, John, who I don't really know, but John's a bit more of a bolshy lad. He's a bit more of like a bit of a troublemaker, right? They're driving along and at Durham services, right? They, I don't know anyone who's actually picked up a hitchhiker. Well, I do now because of this story, right? There's this bloke stood at the side of the road with uh, Sheffield written on a sign. And I think my mate had um, just must have been feeling a bit bored or just mad or something. But they were like, this John fellow was like to my mate, let's, let's pick him up. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. So they pick up this bloke and they're like, we can take you as far as Leeds. We can't get you to Sheffield. We can get you to Leeds. And he's like, yeah, yeah, sound. And he's a big guy, apparently. Gets in the car and he's got this huge zip up black bag with him. And when he puts it down, wedges it in, it makes, it's like heavy as well. And they're like, what the hell is in that bag? Driving down the road. And at one stage, just trying to be friendly. My mate goes, what's in the, uh, what's in the bag, mate? And the guy goes, F all to do with you. And I'm like, when he's telling me the story, I'm like, What? And I said, is that serious? He went, that's what he said to me, yeah. So then awkward silence for about 10 minutes. And then John, being a bit more, you know, brave, I suppose, than my friend, goes like, come on, like, like seriously, what's what's in the bag? And he goes, I told your mate already, it's F all to do with you. Now they're both terrified. They're like, who is this bloke? What's in his bag and what's going on? So they pull over at the next services and they go, right, we're just going inside to get like, to go to the toilet or get some water or something. Uh, why don't you come with us? <clears throat> Just leave your bag in the back. That's fine. And he's like, yeah, yeah, sound. And they, they all go in. And as they're walking in, they realize he's he, big guy as well. He's like quite an intimidating bloke. I think he must have been older as well because we were only about 20 around this sort of time. They go in. I can't remember which way it was. Like either he goes to the toilet and they go to the shop or the other way around. And when that happens, John grabs my mate and goes, we're off. Come on, let's go. And they run back to the car, speed off, realize that his bag's still in the back. And and then yeah, they just went. The, that was it. What's in the bag? What well, f all to do with you? Oh. He's done him. He's absolutely done him. Yes. Oh. Get him. I was so scared that it wasn't going to work. Yeah, that's oh, a nice story, mate. Jack. Matthew, I've what's been, yours? <laughs> wait, I've been bragging to people all week. I'm going to trick them with this. I'm going to trick them. With He's that. done it. Oh, that mate, was beautifully I've been, executed. I've been counting down the days to the podcast like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>